The four common tenses you need to speak English. Present tense, future tense, present continue or present progressive tense, and simple past tense. I'm gonna teach you the usage and how to understand them with more abilities. Remember, I am Livingston Joseph and welcome to my YouTube channel, English with JL. As you know, teaching is my vacation and my dream is helping you to speak English. I have learned English since seven years and now I decide to help you. This is why I oblige myself to bring you the white method, I mean the white strategy for you to speak English clearly and with confidence. Make yourself home. This is your class, right? Just remember to subscribe with this YouTube channel so that you receive the videos when I post them every week. And leave a comment. Please share the videos to help others discovering this channel. I love you. I'm gonna start by teaching you the forms with the time markers of these four tenses in English. Let's see present tense firstly. So they use present tense to talk about habits, emotions, an unchanging situation, or a repeated action. Now let's see the forms of present tense. How is it formed by? So present tense is formed by taking away to from the first form of the verb. Let me say for example to go. In this case, I just take to away and now I have, and, and now I have go. By adding the personal pronouns as you know them clearly, I, which is me, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. One of the most important things that you need to still remember in present tense is the words of the third person. You have to still remember it. I mean, in the third person, I talk about, I talk about he, she, and it. In this case, at the end of the verb, so you will need to remember adding the s at the end of the verb. Or if the verb ends by o or sh and so on, we, 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 we just add es. We need to still remember this. This is really important in present tense. Let me say that, for example, I go to school. It's really simple, but she goes to school. This is the key friend. So we, we need to still remember this. And then now let's see the time markers of present tense. So the time markers of present tense are sometimes, every day, every week, every year, every month, never, always, frequently, and so on. Let me say for example that she goes to school every week. So every week as the time marker shows me or explains me that so she goes to school by this habit. Well, so now let's see the future tenses. So they use future tense to speak about an action or a state that will be done later than now. The future tense is formed by, by using the personal pronouns will and plus the verb. Let me say that I will go. I will go. The personal pronouns plus will and after go. This is the future. So remember that I said that they use future tense to express or to talk about a state or an action that will be done later than now. Now let's see the, the time markers of, the, of future tense. So the time markers of future tense are tomorrow, next week, next year, next month, in future, in years, in month, uh, the present continue and they use the present continue to talk about dynamic actions that happen repeatedly or where will be happening in the next future so the present continue is formed with the personal pronouns to be plus the verb and ing into the verb and ing into the verb let me say that i the personal pronouns to be i am going i am going so i am going i am going personal pronouns to be go and ing into go and the time markers of present continues are today 
at the moment, this week, this month, while, at present, and so on. So the simple past, they use it to express a completed action. So they use the simple past to explain or to express a completed, a completed action. Something that happened once in the past. So they form the, the past tense with the personal pronoun still and the past form of the verb. And the past form of the verb. In this case, we have like in the past form and the past form of the verb. I mean, I went to school. I went to school. So now let's see the time markers of simple past. I mean, yesterday, last week, last year, last month, ago, years, days, hours, last night, and so on. So I think that once you try to memorize exactly the usage of these two tenses, and then you will start expressing yourself or in, in making phrases in English, so you won't miss any different thing. That even though you are beginners or in a way that like you need them to memorize them because they really use them in any kind of things in, in any in any way. So any way they use them every day. You know these four tenses that I am presenting to you. So try to memorize them and use them. So make sure that you understand them and then you know how exactly to know them. Keep like the, the time markers so that to understand so so that to understand them easily. I hope this lesson I, I hope this video saves you and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and come back for more videos every week and I will still work for you. Love you and thanks for watching.